Hello and welcome to Timmy's Ten again for an unboxing of two Kenner starting lineups. Today we have a comparison. We have a 1989 and a 2001. So 1989, that's the second year they made them. 2001 is the last year they made them. Let's see how far they've come. Were they improvements or were they disappointments? I don't have an 89 with a bat because that was my disappointment is the bat was hard plastic and it broke. But let's get this open and compare the actual figures. I already know that the PVC versus plastic was a fail in my eyes, personally. That's an opinion thing. But let's get this open and take a look. Oh good, I didn't like destroy the card in any way. You can see it's still sealed. This is the 1989 Mike Greenwell from the Boston Red Sox. I was showing you that because I was considering not even taking the card out of the package, but I'm going to do it. I just sliced it with my nail, and now I'm going to rip it like that. It's not easy getting these cards out if you want to keep them as mint as possible. You just want to be careful. I can see yellowing all around the edges. I don't know if anybody else can see that in the video, but I do see that. Mike Greenwell, 1989 edition. Exclusive Kenner Steiner lineup card, which is always cool. This is facsimile autograph, which is actually cool in itself. I had a friend that used to collect facsimiles. Never met another friend that did that, but I had one friend that did that. He would actually buy magazines just for the autograph that was inside it. All right, Mike Greenwell. Let's get him out of the package. We've seen the card. Now let's see the figure. Boston Red Sox. He's in his away uniform, which is his Boston on it. And we got Greenwell on the back. How many moving parts? Let's go with the head first. Oh, it moved easily. It almost feels oiled. This actually has a nice feel to it, considering it's been in the package since 1989. Yep. And the arm were moved well. Both arms. And now the waist. For some reason, there's some oily feeling to this. I can actually feel it on my hands. And because of my OCD, I need to wash as soon as this video is over. But what I'm saying to you is, for some reason, there feels like some kind of lubrication on here that may have happened in 1989. But I didn't ever heard of anything like that before. Made in China, 1989. It says Series 2. I don't know if that meant it was from the Extended Series or if that just means it's the second year. I'm going to put that right there. He does stand well. That's key to me. Stands up awesome. I did not expect that with that little base. Look at it. I can turn him anyway, and he stands. That is sick. All right. Now we have the 2001 Noma Garcia Para, and we're talking, look at that stand. The stand alone was what was attractive to me. Those little stands, they fall over too easily. And here's some of the other ones you can get in 2001 from the starting lineup two series. I believe there was two years of the Kenner starting lineup twos. I have my daughter Julia joining me. Hello, Jules. Hi. We're just going to open up this Kenner starting lineup here, and it is factory sealed with actually Kenner starting lineup scotch tape. Really? Never seen anything like that before. One, two, well, I actually have on the other figures, oh. but this is the only time I've seen that is on the Kenner starting lineup two figures. Mm. And there's six figures right there that you can get. None of them are Nomar, so there's six different ones other than the Nomar. All right, let's get these open. Uh, oh, they do. E they open easily, so I just gotta go like this, peel it around the side, and then I'll do it again on this side, and it splits the tape in half, breaking the seal. Oops, it didn't do it on this side. Let's see if it does it over here. On that, oh, okay, okay, it did right there, and it did right there. Okay, cool, cool. 
<laughs> All right, let's see if I can get that package off. Ready? Ah, there's your Major League Baseball official stamped hollow that makes it okay by the MLB for them to do this. Uh, I, th I might have just destroyed the card a little bit. Good thing I don't collect the cards. I didn't mean to rip it out like that, but it was all so yellowy that I thought it was no big deal. See how I broke the package because of the yellowing? Let's take that card out and look at the damage. Ouch. Yep, I'm a stinker. I shouldn't have done that. This is an exclusive starting lineup two card. I started getting a little rambunctious, and I'm going to say I gave this card a 2 out of 10. If this is going to be graded, I just made it a 2. So sorry to anybody that cares. I did not mean to do that. Let's ask Brett Favre to hold that card for me. Oh, he said no. Come on, Brett. Thanks, buddy. And Nomar, uh, Mike Greenwell's card is going to be hold, held by Pedro. Thanks, Pedro. I'm going to put the. Oh, 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 Pedro said no. Pedro said no. Let's see if Pedro turns around. Will he hold it? Can you hold this card for me, please, Pedro? Thank you. All right. This just slipped out of this yellowing package that seems to break easily. My Noma Garcia Para. My other Noma, the bat broke. It is hard plastic. That bat right there is hard plastic. And my, my first Noma that I opened broke, so I replaced it with a machine gun. I call him my extreme Noma. And anybody in the Kenneth Starting Atlantic group has seen my extreme Noma. Let's see, we have 2001 copyright on this can of starting lineup, MLBP, which is Baseball Player Association. PA is Baseball Player Association. Made in China. And I'm going to put this in a case, and I'm not going to let this bat break on me because Nomar Garcia Parra did a lot for the Red Sox. He was a great player, and I am a Boston fan. And it really stunk to see him go to the Dodgers at the end of his career. But, I mean, stuff just happens. I understand these days it's all different than when I was growing up. But either way, thanks for watching. And seeing the difference between a 1989 and a 2001 Kenner starting lineup. That's a huge difference. Size alone Look at the big difference. I know Noma was juiced before he ended his career, and Greenwell never did the juice. But either way, this guy right here was the man, and this guy right here was the man in the era that they played. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching my video. This was basically made for the Kenner starting lineup group. And thank you, Joe. And all of you that have commented, David and Jason and the people that are going to comment in advance, I thank you also. Please subscribe to me Sam again. And until next time, thanks, Julia, for being with me. You're welcome. T10 out.